Hello, the internet. My name's Laura, and welcome back to my channel. Uh, as you can see, we are back at my desk. Um, we're going to be doing a little bit of planty stuff today. I have some plants that I kind of want to propagate, uh, and so figured that I would just do that, and then we can just kind of chill and talk and do whatever the heck. Uh, so that's what we're going to be doing today. If you'd like to see that, stick around. I almost thought this video was over before it began. I have two bags of sphagnum moss and I found one and it's only like this much. And then I went and the other one was like over there. I feel like that's too much now. Yeah, that's too much. Okay, I'm gonna put some back. Seems like a good amount. What's that look like from the outside? Yeah, it looks like a good amount. All right. I always think I add too much water and it never ends up being enough. We have dampened our spaghetti moss. All right, so I was, um, I had a plant of uh, begonia that died and I pulled this out and the little tuber is not completely died yet. It hasn't like um, dried out all the way. So I'm actually gonna just stick it kind of in the corner here um, and we'll see if it comes back. Cause you know, it's not taking up all that much space. It'll be fine. It will be fine. Um, I also wanted to add a little piece of this. And that can be right there. That just needs some roots on it. And that roots really easily, so I'm expecting that to do fine. Okay. The thing that I really wanted to propagate was this guy, my philodendron varicosum, which I'm just noticing now apparently has a look what looks like a mealybug on it. Let's examine that. I can't tell if it is one or not. Because the it has all those little hairs on the have you That did not really help to tell me. I'm not sure if it was one or not. Are there others? Usually it's not just one. Yeah, it might have just been part of the fuzz. Okay. So anyway, this guy's been doing fairly well, but because I haven't been keeping up with watering it, um, all the older leaves are dying off. So I've got this whole stem here and um and just leaves at the top so i'm just i've got all these nodes that i'm gonna just stick in there and propagate so that is going to be the idea um we're gonna leave i'm gonna leave a little bit of it in the soil um because that plant is rooted and it's fine. Um, and then we're just gonna take the top parts off and then try to root all of those. So, where do I wanna cut it? We're gonna, looks like it's already done something there. So I'm actually gonna cut it here. Okay, so, 
done that. I'm going to cut of that node. We're cutting above each of these nodes here. So we've got this one. You know what? I might actually stick that in here. Um, but anyway, so the top top cutting is just going to kind of go in here like this. Um, kind of want to actually kind of want to keep it up so that it doesn't um, root out of this higher node because I don't want that node to I don't want that node to root so. I think we might do that so that that node doesn't root and we'll go down here and let that node root. It might root anyway just because of the humidity that's going to be in here. Sorry, you guys can't see. I did not do that well. Okay, moving this. We went ahead and put that in there. Um, and then I'm going to cut all the rest of these nodes. So I've got node, 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 and I'm just gonna cut above each node. And stick it in there so that each node turns into hopefully a new plant. Because none of these nodes have been propagated before. Each of those guys is now in there, in their own little place. Perfect. Um, okay, so if we take this guy out. I might actually, I think what I might want to do is just pop this up into a bigger pot because I'm pretty sure the roots on it are pretty good looking. We're going to look at that later though. Okay, so the other things that I wanted to propagate, I have this Pingicula aganata times True blue, true blue times Gigantica. And as you can see, it's doing rather poorly. I don't think it's responding well to my, I have it upstairs in my bedroom. And so what I'm actually going to do is pull off some of the leaves. Cause you can, you can um, propagate pingicula leaves like that. And I'm just gonna, Take the leaves that look like they're still alive and see if I can't grow another plant out of this. Um, luckily my water is not super heavy on the metals. Um, so the fact that I use just regular water in here is not going to hurt it significantly. Um, so we're just going to stick a couple in here. They're sticking to my fingers. I know. There you go, buds. Um, yeah, these other ones aren't looking great, but we'll try and give it as many, give it as many shots as we've got to save that plant. So we're sticking that all in there. Okay. Um, I'll see what I'm going to do about that, that plant, plant itself. And then I have some, um, philodendron brandy um some philodendron brandy vines um that have kind of as you see like they're not doing super great they've only got a couple leaves on them blah 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 um so i'm just gonna go ahead and um chop this up a little bit and then just just root the little bits of it um probably be pretty easy to tell what these are once they start um get some leaves on them but for right now just kind of stick them all in the same general area I'm actually ugh, I've got so much of this brandy I'm actually leaving um two nodes on most of these cuttings because I mean why not I don't think I need 
every single one of these nodes to be a new plant. That would be a lot of plants. Okay. Um, and then I have a, um, what is this called? Pothos? It's the one with all the silver on the leaves. The pothos with all the silver on the leaves. It's got like moon in the name. I feel silly that I can't remember. Um, oh, Trubii. Silver, Trubii Silver, I think is what the name of it is. Um, and the plant itself is doing okay, but this leaf kind of came out and just like, or this, this came out and all the leaves just kind of did not did not do well. So um, we're just going to kind of, I mean, they've got nice fat nodes on all of them. So there's plenty of space in here for that. Truby Eye Silver section. Uh, let's go this way. Do not fall over. You're fine. Oh, never mind. You're not fine. Let's <laughs> see what's going on here. All right, there you go. So, this, the smaller of my philodendron silver sword is also a little bit rough right now. Um, so, I think I'm going to chop this up a little bit um, and put a couple of these in there just to grow so that I know it's going to do well. Let's see. It's already got an aerial root going on it, so that should actually be a pretty quick um, one. Okay, so put that back over there. These two in this little corner here. Hopefully, not taking up. They are kind of big cuttings, so hopefully, not taking up too much space. Don't fall over, please. I'll be fine. Where's the other one? Right. Blair. All right. That should be good. Okay. So, make sure everything is pretty well organized and under the moss. All right. And then I'm going to take you guys so you can actually see. Okay, so here we go. We've got the varicosum here, the silver swords, there's the pinicula, um, the brandies are there, and then obviously you can't really see, but the truvii silvers are all along here. Um, and then the rest of the varicosums are these, these twigs, and then those twigs are um, the truvii. And then, yeah, so that's what it's looking like. We're gonna go ahead and stick this under, um, or stick the lid on it. Stick the lid on in order to hold in all the nice humidity. Um, at least for right now, I'll probably keep that at, at full, and then later on I'll probably prop it open just a little bit so that it can get some more air. Um, but there you go. Okay, so that is going to be the video for today. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed seeing a little bit of a little bit of plant stuff. I'm planning. I have some. I definitely have some plants that I need to kind of pot up and and redo and all that kind of stuff, which I'm probably going to do in the next day or so. Um, so this video is kind of short, but it was kind of just a short and sweet. You know, just kind of get it done, get it out there, get back in the swing of things type of a deal. Um, 
If you like this video, go ahead and like this video. If you'd like to see more of my content, go ahead and subscribe and stick around. I've got all kinds of different things going on. There's plant stuff, there's woodworking stuff, there's DIY stuff. Still trying to think of a good channel name, Stories And, but I don't know what the and is quite yet. Um, so if you have any suggestions, I've considered Stories and DIY, but that doesn't really, I don't know. I, I just, I'm all over the place, but it's okay. Uh, stories and stuff. <laughs> but I feel like that's not narrow enough. Anyway, um, so if you have any ideas, just go ahead and, you know, throw those down in the comments. It'll be interesting to see what you guys might be able to come up with. And thank you so much for spending some of your time with me today. I will see you guys in the next video. Okay, bye-bye.